Hi, I'm Brad Healy with Emerson Process Management. We are here to discuss the general features and setup of the Fisher Easy Drive electric actuator mounted on a Fisher D3 or D4 globe valve. If you're having problems, here are some troubleshooting measures that you can follow. If the unit does not move, first verify that 12 or 24 volts DC is present on the power terminals as shown on the cover. Verify that all wires are firmly attached at both ends. Verify the wires are connected to the correct terminals. See wiring in the instruction manual for guidance. Verify mode of operation. On-off or positioning mode matches your control signal. Verify mode of control, either local or Modbus, matches your control signal. This can be done through Modbus Master or the Easy Drive configuration software. Unit does not respond to a 4 to 20 signal. Verify that power is connected to the valve. Secondly, verify a 4 to 20 milliamp signal is wired correctly to the terminals and firmly on the wires. Verify mode of operation matches the control signal. This can be done through Modbus Master or the Easy Drive configuration software. The analog scaling should reflect 1 to 5 volts. If the 4 to 20 milliamp signal was applied to the valve without the external 250 ohm resistor, the board could be damaged. Please contact your Emerson sales office for further information. Unit moves to fully open when the 1 volt signal is applied and closed when the 5 volt signal is applied. Unit is likely configured as an on-off unit with local control. On-off units should not be controlled with an analog device. Look at the nameplate on the side of the valve and confirm if the valve is either positioning or on-off. Diagnostics show a motor stall fault. If the valve plug cannot move to its command position, the actuator will stop without damage and issue a motor stall fault warning. Make sure the actuator is being provided the necessary current to stroke the valve. The valve will never pull more than 4 amps, but it should have the supply to do so. Having a 12 gauge wire is recommended where motor stall faults are experienced. Once the command signal changes outside of the dead band, it will attempt to move again. Recalibrate the actuator using the processes we've previously discussed during the configuration and calibration of the positioning unit portion of the video. If the position of the D3 is too high, check the valve type. If it is D4, change to D3 and then cycle power. Recalibrate using the analog calibration procedure. Due to the external resistor, some deviations can be expected. When greater than 0.5 volt differential is experienced between analog signal negative and power negative, place a jumper between these terminals. If the easy drive is unresponsive and will not connect to Modbus or respond to analog or discrete inputs, please contact your local Emerson sales office. For more information on the Fisher Easy Drive Electric Actuator, go to fisher.com/easydrive or contact your local Emerson sales office.